Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Hi, it's me, your friend Corey. Fresh from the shower. Decided to make a couple videos after jumping in the shower. Very late shower. Yeah, that's my exciting news for the day. Um, we're going to start with this. We're going to start going back. I'd say about 14, 15 rows, a little further than I thought. I took a quick look and I have marked off main ones that were bothering me when I tried it on, the ones I could see looking in the mirror, and I put stitch markers in them. So there is at least three or four, and like I said before in my last video, if I don't fix it, I am never ever going to pull it out of my closet, I'm never ever going to wear it, and it's going to sit there and just be a waste of my time, a waste of my money, a waste of everything. So. I'm going to fix this for myself so I will actually wear it. So bear with me. I'm so sorry. I really wish I didn't have to do it, but I couldn't count sometimes. Glad you're here today. the liberty of discovering yeah hopefully I believe no it's the purple the purple is to tell me I swear it was purple where I uh, ended and started okay um I see one way back here That one is one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'll mark it. So now that I know it's there, it's just going to drive me crazy. So I'll mark that one. But anyhow. I'm looking for a purple one. That is the first one I've noticed that far in the back. Because the back ones, for some reason, seem to be just fine. Like, looking at them, that's the only one. And if that's the only one, I might just not even bother. Because, like I said, it's in the back. I don't see it. But when I look in the mirror, and I see the other ones, that is not good. <laughs> that is not a fun one for me, I'll tell you that much. There's those two. And there, there's the purple one. So we're going back to about this high up. And um, this purple one is representing down here is where my ends will be. So we're going to gently start taking this apart and balling it up. You have to ball it. Where did you go? I'm peeling for the ends because I know I saw it. There it is. There is the end. This little piece had worked itself loose. So, I'm going to start here. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go back now that I found that one in the the back back there I might have to take it all the way back but I know this is exactly what I want and I know this is I want I have a vision and I want to keep my vision I don't want it to turn into something that I'm just feeling I did a mediocre job on and it's and it's not even to impress anybody except myself so I mean I would like myself to be happy with what I've made. Okay, here comes my bad habit again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Can't talk with that in my mouth. Not safe. Shouldn't even be putting it in my mouth. I know, I know. You can hear my grandma. But she used to do it too. That's where I got the habit from. Sewing needles. Always. Pins. All the pins always in your mouth when you're pinning things. Okay, let's see if I can figure you out. So like I said, there's going to be a little bit more frogging on this channel for a little while. I do have a bag of things I need to take apart. I have a couple sweaters that I want to be yarn from. Because believe me, those sweaters would definitely just be going in the landfill. So I'm going to recycle, reuse, repurpose, however you want to term it. Oh goodness. Just one moment. Alright, sorry. My daughter's having quite the dream over there. I'll give her a few minutes. And, yeah. So I've done it to myself again, where my ends are so woven in that I am actually quite confused as to how I did this. How did I Houdini this together? I'm just thinking about how for a while there the word MacGyver was a verb. You put something together, hodgepodged it together. See, there's another made up pop culture one, but you yeah, MacGyvered it. I remember thinking that was like the silliest thing. But I said it a few times. I remember it. So I can kind of see it a little bit better than, let's say, that beige in that purse that I'm trying to bag, that I'm trying to disassemble for science. It's not for science, it's for a better crochet. My goodness. So I was able to get the two Aragermies to their intended people on time, and that was awesome. So I'm very happy about that. I'll have to try to figure out another time, which is great. And they were very happy, so I'm happy. We will miss them, that's for sure, but. You know, they're on a new adventure, and that happens. But we can definitely, in this day and age, keep in touch with people further away a lot easier than we ever could before, like FaceTime calls and stuff so they can see each other. And I'm going to have to make that a big priority, because the girls really have a good time together. So that's always nice. Yeah. So I'm all stuck here. I don't want to pull on this yarn too, too much because it is a bit of a delicate yarn. Once I get this out though, it's going to be fairly straightforward and easy. Easy yet challenging because I don't want to have to do it, but I'm going to have to. Or I'm never, ever going to want to wear it. I know it. I've talked to other people who create clothing and stuff. And the minor imperfections, at the time when you're making it, you're like, oh yeah, no, no, it'll be fine. I'll never know. But it'll be all you'll see. And you just don't want to pull it out. And I know this. I know that's what's going to happen. You know, I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but I am expecting not to be 
having my eye drawn to one or two spots because something doesn't look right to my eye and my eye is not liking it so I have to go with my with what's going to be best for me and that's unfortunately going to have to be taken to apart. My mom is very sad for me but I explained it to her I mean I like this yarn a lot and I would love to wear this and I don't want it to turn into something that was a waste of my time. A waste of my efforts. I don't want to waste the yarn. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. I don't even think the color is the same anymore. They have something similar but it has a gray outline and this doesn't have the gray thought about putting gray as my last color but it really didn't it's probably just the grays I have I don't know I still might do it now that I'm taking it apart because you never know maybe I'll make it into like a rainbow into a cloud because that was my first instinct this blue is still a little I don't know I like it but I don't like love it love it I may have to go to the gray but we'll see because now I can just you know change my mind if I want to I could change my mind the whole time see yeah, even when I was wearing it a little bit a little put off by the blue so I actually might decide to go with my lighter gray I have just because it looks like it's going into a cloud stormy cloud because we always get rainbows when it rains because rainbows are light reflecting off of water which is what raindrops are isn't that amazing the neatest thing Come on, come on out. Come out and play. Great goodness me. Okay, we're right, we're doing really well. Finished a book this afternoon. An actual reading one on my my uh, library app, Libby. If you don't have Libby, I highly recommend it. it. Gives you access to the library without actually, ha if you can't make it there, you can read it on your handheld device, which is nice when you're traveling anywhere, or someone's driving, going on a long trip, you don't have to take a pile of books. You don't have to worry about having internet. So, it's a nice alternative, especially if you're like a bus rider. I've used uh, ebooks for a long time for that reason because I'm only carrying my phone and I don't have to worry about wrecking a book in my bag because I was a janitor for a long time and I had a very long bus ride on the way home I'd get a ride to work which would have which the days I didn't and we had to take the bus was just the most insane insane bus rides because it's a university bus at the time of day when most students are leaving the university for the day so they are packed to the brim with students and just regular normal people who are just trying to get somewhere so i didn't like always taking a book but i could take a phone with me i mean coming back late at night i didn't want too much to be distracting my phone was always in my hand anyway because it just felt a little safer because when I say late at night I'm talking like midnight, one o'clock in the morning I'm taking the bus home and it wasn't the most ideal situation but where I worked I did one half to park a car there for hours on end it just wasn't the place to do that I love it. 
not the most. It was right downtown kind of thing. However, the best part about that job, right next to the local yarn store, if you can believe that, local yarn store. So there were days that we'd get there kind of early and we'd go into the yarn store and take a little peek around. They're apparently hiring. I hope they find somebody good. I haven't been there in a very long time. I don't get to our bigger town that we live right outside of very often simply because it's um it's a good 20 minute drive and i'm just not into it i can get everything either sent to my home or locally within walking distance i like that my husband drives he'll drive us if he has to but uh i would i, I get so exhausted after a day of like going to walmart Go to Walmart for like two hours the rest of the day. It's just ruined. It's like... It's like hanging around with those people that just... The psychic vampires, as I like to call them. The people that... Will drain everything out of you. Your energy, your positivity, your everything. Everything good. Because, you know, everybody knows somebody like that. If you don't, it might be you. I hope it's not you. I'm sure it isn't, but it is a true thing, and I know like certain people, you just really have to be really prepared, and I mean, it's not like some, some of them aren't malicious about it, it's just, there's just a lot of, it's just a lot to hang out with them, so, that's how I feel about Walmart, you walk in, and it's, it is that kind of relationship, but I do like their pricing on some things, and they carry quite a bit of yarn, because keep in mind, I live in Canada. I'm hearing rumors that Michael's has downsized the amount of yarn they have again, so that's worrisome. But I've been seeing interesting ads from Yarn Inspirations all day saying that they have all these exclusives going to Michael. So, I don't know. You know, Red Heart and your inspirations are at Walmart, so. And Mandela's, which are fabulous. I really like the line brand Mandela's. They're very nice. Very pretty. Oh, speaking of gorgeous. Due to popular demand, Hobie has brought back Halloween Dahlia, my favorite kind. This kind, I like it probably more than the Twister stuff. Loved the Dahlia. It is just, ugh, 100% cotton. Love, 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 love. Mad Scientist, the purple, green, slime green. Wow, wow, wow. I would like to get at least two more of those ones. Like, I like this one, Fright Night, behind me there. And I also have Haunted House, which is purple and gray, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'd really like more Mad Scientist. That is my favorite one. I made a comment on an alt Knots video a while ago, alive. And she responded to me about how she bought so many, and then she just decided not to make anything. I was so jealous. I was like, ugh. I would like to make a house coat type deal, like a like a duster, maybe with the pineapple stitch. I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting somewhere now. So gently, gently pulling out all my all my hard work. To make it right because I know myself and I know I'm not going to be satisfied and um, if it was somebody else I'd totally accept their mistakes no problem no questions asked I'd be totally fine with it but because I made it and I made it for me I have an expectation of myself which is really I'm kind of hard on myself 
as most of us are. Anyways, thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box. Look how much I've unraveled. Wow. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.